Hi, everybody. Guess what we get to do today? Dialogue with Darby. You know who this guy is? He's our new DRE. His name's Dar Darby Young. I should say Dr. Darby Young. And we are so blessed to have him on board to help with the religious education program. He's got a lot of good theology and a lot of, a lot of good, really... Um, really interesting stuff to share. And today, our dialogue with Darby, you know what it's gonna be about? David and Darby talk about the Blessed Mother. And uh, I'm gonna start this conversation out, if you don't mind. And, and I, I wanna just go right to one of the key passages. Uh, you know, you go to the Gospel of Luke, the first chapter, and, uh, and the angel Gabriel comes to the Blessed Mother and says, Kyrie kekoretomene, ho kurius metasu. That's Greek for hail, having been favored one. Okay, O highly favored daughter is another translation of that. Hail, O, fi o highly favored daughter, ho kurius metasu, the Lord is with you. Even right there, we get the whole idea of the Immaculate Conception, that right from the very moment of Mary's conception, the Lord was with her. She was already filled with the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. So the angel Gabriel comes to Mary and greets her and gives her astonishing news. He, he says to her, you know what, Mary? You are going to be the mother of God. You're going to be the mother uh, of the one who is uh, from the line of David, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever and ever. His eternal, his kingdom will have no end. And Mary, being this little maiden, I'll bet you she was probably only like, they say 14, yeah. 14 years old. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I know we talked about that before. And she was a very young maiden. And she was like, how can this be? I'm a virgin. I mean, I've never been with a man. And, uh, and of course, uh, the Blessed Mother uh, listens to the words of Gabriel. They said, guess what? The Holy Spirit will come upon you. The power of the Most High will overshadow you. Uh, you know, just be little enough to let God do great things in your life. And her response is, this is the Latin, uh, the, the Greek is uh, geninomai or something like that. I, I cannot think of the, the Greek for that. But the Latin is fiat. May it be done. Let it be done. And, and you know, so, so notice Mary's whole stance is not, I'm going to get up and do this now. Her stance is, let it be done unto me. Let, you know, I'm just going to open because I'm little. I need, the, I need the Holy Spirit to come upon me. I need the power of the Most High to overshadow me. With that, yeah, I can do it. Without that, there's no way anything good is going to happen. And so we kind of start, that's kind of our starting point. Uh, with, you know, with Mary's humility. That's what I love about her. And I, I just want to open it up to you, Darby. What are some of your thoughts on the Blessed Mother? And, and even that first title, I know you had something really interesting yeah, about yeah. that. I, I've given talks on this before. Uh, I, like I warned you, I could talk for hours on this. I won't. I'm going to take it focused. I, I, like, to, I like that phrase you just talked about. Um, we say in English as, uh, Hail Mary, full of grace, or, or the title, Fully Grace. It's not a description, but rather... It's a title in that she, she was being addressed by the angel Gabriel, fully graced. And, and when you think about that, if you are full of grace, you got two things. Number one, you can't get any more grace because you're full of grace. You, you have reached the apex of it, which is yeah. insane. Wonderful. The other thing is if you're full of grace, you can't. There's no room for sin, which is one of the things I like to talk about the Kerygma is empty yourself of your selfishness so that you can bring Jesus into you. And that's, that's what Mary had. She was full she is full of grace. What a thing we should aspire to. She's such a perfect role model. Um, God created her. We, I like to call her God's most perfect creation. If you had a chance to make your own mother, wouldn't you want her to be perfect yeah, too? Yeah, so. absolutely. And you know, the, the ironic thing is, when you are full of grace, when you are full of grace, you are not full of yourself. Exactly. And you notice that Mary, what does Mary do? Mary doesn't say, oh, look how great I am. Look how wonderful I am. No, she says in the Magnificat, which comes later, like in yeah, verse 47, yeah, right, uh, right. Luke 1, 47. She says, my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor upon his daughter in her loneliness. So she takes a whole focus off. And any apparition, by the way, she never says, um, hey, I'm so cool. Look what I can do. She always, 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 always points to Jesus. Never does she point to herself. No. Do, do, do whatever he tells you. Always points to Jesus. And she's not self-centered at all. But, by, yeah. but because of that, she has the fullness. She is the greatest saint in heaven. She is the most, beside the Trinity, God, the Trinity, Mary is the most 
feared in all of hell as well. Yes, that, that yeah. is true. Anything else you want to share? Well, you touched on something uh, later on at the wedding of Cana. Um, it was ironic, the words she said to the waiter, do whatever he tells you. That's what we're being told by our blessed mother in the same capacity. And we're not going to go get water jars, but we're going to go live a Christ-like life. Do whatever Jesus tells you. And, and, and that's, I can't think of any better advice than that. Yeah, amen to that. That's wonderful. And that and that's what that's what holiness is about. Jesus says it's not pious feelings or warm holy feelings that's going to get you to heaven. Not everyone who cries Lord, Lord will enter into heaven, but only those who do the will of my Father in heaven. And of course, her whole thing was fiat, let it be done unto me according to your will. You know, and and she she appears in places with people and and you know, wherever she appears, she says tell the people that that I love them, that, I, that I'm their mother, but she'll never kick down the door. She'll, she'll never force her sweet presence into our life, but she always is beckoning, open up, gently like a mother, open up, let me come in and be your loving, gentle mother. At 2006, I heard that, uh, someone said that, you know, that, 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 she, that she's always there. And so if you invite her, so I said, okay, well, why would I even wanna have one moment of one day without her? So I said, Mary, be with me every moment of every day for the rest of my life. I mean, so now she's here now. I've asked her, I've invited her in, you know? And so let's say that prayer together and you do the echo. Mary, you do the echo. Mary, do it with him, oh, follow him. Mary, 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 be with me. Be with me. Every moment. Every moment. Of every day. Of every day. For the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. Amen. Amen. And if you pray that prayer, that will happen. Anything else you want to say about the Blessed Mother? Um, I, I can think of a real brief joke. Um, when, when you think of her as the intercessor, we have many intercessors, but Mary is the intercessor, the, the perfect role model. Uh, St. Peter was up in heaven one day talking to some people, and then he looked and he saw this guy, and he's like, hey, hey, I'm the keeper of the gates. How did he get into heaven? I didn't say he'd come into heaven. And the other guy says, oh, I know him. Uh, Mary let him in the back door. So, uh, so she'll help you get into heaven. She so. will. And that, that's really, that's a joke, but it's a great point. It is. You know, she accompanies us through her whole life. And you know what? We're outside. We wanted to have this beautiful bush and, and, uh, and it's starting to rain. So we're going to end with a Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.